Looking at some of the action from earlier today, how about the start for Cheyenne Knight? She nearly won a couple weeks ago at Wilshire. And it's just one of those old school designs, Tom, where most greens slope back to front. And if you're gonna, if you miss long, it's gonna be so quick, so quick coming back down the hill. Cheyenne got off to a really good start with three straight birdies. I was out there watching her early in the round and she dialed in the pace of these greens immediately. She had the lead at the time and nice rebound for Cheyenne, at least today. Looking for some redemption, I am sure, out here this week. Obviously playing some wonderful golf and feeling very much in control of her game. I think this is a similar golf course to Wilshire, an old school. Now bogey putt the other way for Cheyenne Knight. You okay. always get nervous when you I see do, the show. I do, I do get nervous when we go to really short putts. Yeah. What's it like out on the golf course when you get off to such a great start and then you give a couple back? You just have to really stay patient. I think that three putt on the last hole is frustrating. Yeah. Uh, the first hole, the bogey on the first hole was not not the end of the world, but the three putt on three, even though it is a tough hole, miss a short putt can get some tough putts, but she's left herself in a good spot. I love these types of greens, Tom, that have a lot of break to them. The old school designs, I think it's just I think they're easier to read. You can see the break well, and you really have to dial in your speed. Eight liters, Cheyenne Knight on the tee at the par three sixth. Her ball striking, when I talked to her coach, Joey Wurtenberger, a couple weeks ago during Wilshire, he said starting at Chevron, he was really impressed. Uh, she'll have that for par as we go to nine. And the final hole for Cheyenne Knight. So Gemma Driver finish up with her round of 69. Par here will be 